everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How's it going? We are off to the cottage once again. Carol is talking about the fact that it's still haven't settled into home yet because came back from Hawaii, stayed just a few days, and then we're and you're off to the cottage, and then we went home again because of the pool party in uh, Georgetown, and then we're back home last night. And now we're going back up to the cottage, and then we're going over to Thornbury to your sister's new home to celebrate the I guess it's a home warming party. Well, it's my mom's birthday. Too. And it's your mom's birthday, right? Yeah. I knew, I, my, my brain was all because we've never been there and they just moved in, so that's why my brain was at that. Actually, I kept thinking your mom's birthday was today, so that's why I kind of thought we were going to back up in the cottage today, but we're just going up there to hang out, go for a swim. Hang out. <laughs> we'll go for a, a, a what's it called? A canoe ride. A canoe ride? Yeah. We brought the kayak home, I think, prematurely. Yeah, uh, well, whatever. Took the camera down a little bit more. We gotta see the top of the camera. There you go. Um, we got the coffee. We got a coffee. And the donut's already in my belly. Yeah, that's right. It was good. We were discussing favorite donuts. Yes. What, what, and I guess the, the main part of the discussion was, what's your favorite donut at Tim Hortons? And then the other part of the discussion was, what's your favorite donut? Because um, Ryan Lamb from uh, Buffalo, he, when I met up with him uh, about like a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago now, he brought me like a 12 pack of, of um, donuts from, so it's a woman's name, like Paula's Donuts. And it's not just a donut store, but it's a bakery, so they make their donuts on premises. So he gave me 12 fresh different donuts. And we did a, we made a video on it because we had to like sample all the donuts. And when you eat a fresh baked donut at a, from a bakery, it's it's the best. It blows away any other donut. And But it doesn't, we're not knocking Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons has great donuts, but frozen, reconstituted, reheated, Donuts at Tim Hortons are great, but the next level up is to actually have it. Your arm getting tired? My arm's getting tired. <laughs> it's gonna go on for another hour just to see if Carol can handle it. The, the prices we pay as vloggers. Anyway, so and so, what was your favorite at uh, Tim Hortons? Okay, so my favorite is the chocolate dip. See it's, where the light is on it. It's the... delicious. Yeah, that's to bring it into the shade. And make sure you get to the top of your camera. My favorite is the chocolate dip donut. That's my favorite at Tim Hortons. Do you have a second? A second? It would be the honey dip. Honey glazed, right? Well, I think it's the honey, honey glazed, dip. I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's glazed. Yeah, so, and then mine would be the French cruller. Uh, if I'm just having just the donut, then probably the French glaze. But I really like to have like a uh, an Earl Grey black no sugar, no cream, nothing. Just Earl Grey and a sour cream glazed donut. That's my all-time favorite at Tim Hortons. Why not just a glass of milk with the donut? Yeah, it's got to be the tea, man. Really? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Sam? What's your favorite? Anything? Speak. Speak. Good boy. <laughs> he likes the plain donuts. He likes the plain anything. Timbits. Yeah. No chocolate for him. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll see you later. I had to videotape that. You did, eh? Sam snuck Look up it. to the front. No, I unhooked him. Oh, you unhooked him. Okay. I unhooked him. So okay, we have like a... Bye, Sam. Bye. We made it to the cottage. I think I sat on something. You think you sat on something? Well, nothing. All right, back up to the cottage. Back up to the lake. Hello. How are you guys doing? Just had an amazing veal dinner. And uh, now it's time to 
Was that light in here? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna grab my fishing stuff. I don't remember if I have everything in here. I've split all my fishing stuff up between my mom's cottage. That's gotta be mine right there. My mom's cottage and my cottage. Or, or this cottage, this is not mine. That's somebody else's. I think this is mine. Yes. That's mine. Yeah. And uh, that's my favorite bait on there. But it's an old bait, so we gotta grab another one. I'll have to look through this stuff and find it. Then we'll go over to the rock, catch a bass. All right, got everything all set up. Got a new hook on there. Not my favorite hook, but I didn't leave a, a ample supply of the hooks that I really like here at this cottage. Ooh, there's a beaver coming. I'll try and show you the beaver in a sec. But then there's this other bait. I grabbed a knife. Don't necessarily need a knife, but this is the bait. Bait of choice, not necessarily my favorite color, but it's called a zero stick worm. Great bait for bass. Oh. And there's bugs out here like crazy. Let's see if we can get this beaver on camera. Boy, I thought these bugs don't come out at this time. There he goes. Enough of that, the bugs are actually quite bad, so this might be a very short-lived fishing trip. Jeez. All right, guys, I'm gonna try and put you down in a really good spot. Let's see if we can, there we go. Cast along these weed lines right here. This is a smallmouth bass, and he's very dark. So there you go, a nice little smallmouth bass. Very dark in color because of the type of water we have here. Nice. Gotta rinse the hands off every time. Stinky. Let's try over here. See what we can muster up. I'm gonna try a new bait because this one's been pulverized by the fish that we've caught. New one limp. This one a little bit more firm. It's like waterlogged or something. So that's just called a wacky rig. And that way it goes to the water like this. Wood, 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 wood. Let's do it. back over here. You ready? Here we go. Holy instinct. Whoa. Whoa. Him wear himself out a little bit. I hope it's not the same guy. This guy seems to be bigger. There you go, another nice small mouth bass. Check that out.
Nice big mouth. Hmm, beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more cast. Or one more fish, anyway. That didn't just happen. Well, that was very exciting, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's starting to get really dark. The mosquitoes are out to get me. Don't have any repellent on, but I want to catch one more fish for you guys. And for me. This is a little rock bass. Got lots of little, whoa. This little rock bass. A little bit different in color. It's got a nice little pattern on it. 